costs can be fixed or variable. In this lesson, we will define what a fixed cost is and a variable cost. We will also identify costs that you would associate as being a fixed cost or a variable cost and use that information to estimate the yearly budget for fixed costs and to project or estimate the yearly cost of variable costs for your company. Let's start by talking about fixed cost. What is a fixed cost? A fixed cost is a cost that, is a com that a company must pay for goods or services that constantly remains the same. It does not change based on an increase or a decrease in sales volume of the company. There are no factors that are going to change this. When budgeting for yearly spending, any cost that we know for sure will be the same every month, month in and month out, is considered a fixed cost. A mortgage payment is an example of a fixed cost. We pay it every month and the bill is the same every single month. Fixed costs can be accurately budgeted for because we know the exact price we'll pay. And you can see in this little, little column chart here that if I was trying to budget for the entire year, I would know that in January, I need to budget $5,200 for my mortgage. And I also have to budget that in August and December and in May and October, and it's always the same. On January 1st of the year, I can tell you exactly how much I will pay for my mortgage in December of that year. And if you can say that, it is a fixed cost. Examples of fixed costs include things like your monthly mortgage payment, monthly lease payments for a printing press or another type of equipment, um, the amount that you pay for your vehicle, building, employee insurances, salaried employees, um, uh, budgeting for how much you need to pay them every week. You can budget for that on the first day of the year, knowing that it will be the same every week or every two weeks or every month, depending on how often you pay them. Um, if you sign a contract with an accountant or a lawyer, you might sign um, an agreement that equates to a certain amount per month or per quarter, but these items are fixed because you agree to them in advance. The second type of cost that you may incur is called a variable cost. A variable cost is a cost that changes from month to month. It can vary and will change based on an increase or a decrease in sales volume of the company. Variable costs make yearly budgeting difficult. In most circumstances, companies must use projections to estimate how much these will cost. There's no way to say for sure exactly how much you'll pay in a year, so you guesstimate or you project how much they might cost. An electric bill is an example of a variable cost. We pay it every month, but we can't be certain of the exact price we will be paying until the electric company sends us a bill. Variable costs cannot be 100% accurately budgeted for because we don't know the exact price we will pay. We know we're going to pay for electric. We know that we are going to pay for it in January and in February and September and October. But we don't know exactly how much we're going to pay, so we have to guesstimate or use projections to estimate the cost of the electric. In this example, you can see that it's about the same every month, but in the summer months, the electric bill was higher than in the winter months. Um, and what I can do is I can look at how much I paid the previous year and just assume I should be paying about the same in the future year. Examples of fixed costs include utilities like gas, electric, and water. Water, if you're not from New Jersey. Paper and ink and other printing supply costs, if that's what I'm, I'm using for my, my work. The salaries of hourly and commission-based workers, um, especially um, hourly workers that don't work consistent number of hours. So if somebody works two hours here and 50 hours there, it's hard to but it is hard to budget for that. Delivery costs that you might incur throughout the year to deliver proofs or products and things like that. And the cost to fix equipment when it breaks down or to replace equipment if it breaks down. You can't know for sure something's going to break down, but you do know for sure that you're going to have to fix it if it does. When we budget for fixed costs, it's very straightforward. Using the following formula to calculate the yearly budget amount required for a fixed cost center, we can accurately budget for a fixed cost for the entire year because we know exactly how much the payment will be in each month. 
So we can take the cost and multiply it times the number of payments that we make in a year. So if we pay it monthly, it's times 12. If we pay it quarterly, it's times four. If we pay it annually, it's times one. And that will give us the total amount that we need to budget for the entire year. In this example, how much should Jones Printing Company budget annually for one year for the building lease on their property? They've signed an agreement to pay $5,250 per month for the next six years. So for one year, they will pay cost $5,250. They will make the payments monthly, so they'll multiply that times 12 months in a year. So they will budget $63,000 every year for the cost of the lease on the building that they operate within. Here's an example to try on your own. How much should American Printing Company budget annually for one whole year for their salaried employees? They have 60 employees that make a total of $67,250 per week. So payroll has said every week they write checks and those checks add up to $67,250. How much do they need to budget for the entire year? Pause the video and when you're ready, push play and we'll go through the solution together. In this case, the cost is $67,250. It doesn't matter that they have 60 employees because we weren't given a price per employee. We were just told every week the total of the paychecks is $67,250. Since we were given it in terms of weeks, we multiply it times 52 because there are 52 weeks in every one year. So 67,250 times 52 weeks in a year means that we must budget $3,497,000 for the year for employee salaries. Projecting for variable cost. Budgeting for variable costs is a little bit more tricky. We are never 100% certain what our variable cost expenses will be. We can, however, still budget for them. Budgeting for a variable cost is considered a projection because we try to project or take an educated guess at what the cost will be. The best way to project what variable cost spending will be is to look at the cost from the previous year. If we spent $900 on our electric bill in January of last year, we should budget at least $900 for this upcoming January. When you are projecting or calculating costs for vari uh, or calculating variable costs, you can use one of the following formulas below. You can choose which one works best in uh, for the example that you are working with at the time. So if you are told that on average you spent a certain amount of money per month on a cost, you can multiply that average times the number of payments that you made in a year and it will give you the total amount you should budget. So if I tell you that we spent on average, you look back at the books and you say, oh, we spent on average $1,700 per month on maintenance. We can multiply $1,700 times 12 because there are 12 months in a year and that will give us the amount that, the minimum amount that we should budget for the following year. You can also just add up all the payments that you made in the previous year. If the press broke down 96 times and you paid a certain amount each time, you could sum up all 96 of those breakdowns together and say, this is how much we should budget for the whole year. If we go back to our previous example with the electric bill, we could just add up the 12 payments we made the year before and say we need to budget at least that much for the following year. So here is an example. How much should Jones Printing Company budget for next year for their electric bill payments? Their previous bills are posted on the right. If we were to choose one of the two formulas to use, in this case, the best formula to use is just to add up all the payments from the pro previous year. If we wanted to use the first formula, we would need to know the average amount they paid per month, and then we could calculate that, right? But in order to calculate the average per month, we'd have to add up the sum and divide it by 12, and that makes no sense. So in this example, it's much easier just to say I paid $260 in January, $403 in February, $398 in March, and so on and so forth. And when you manually add all of those things together, this company paid $5,256 in electric for the previous year. So we should budget at least $5,256 for the upcoming year. Let's go through another example. How much should American Printing Company budget 
for next year for their hourly employees. They paid 34 employees an average of $13 per hour for an average of 38 hours per week last year. How much should they budget for hourly wages for next year? So in this projection, it's a little bit more complicated. We need to calculate how much American printing companies spent on hourly employees the year before by calculating how much was spent during a given amount of time. Then we can multiply it times the number of payments that were made in a year. In this example, we're given information on how much money was spent each week. Once we calculate the weekly price, we can multiply it times 52. So in this case, let's back up, we're going to use the first formula. We're going to figure out the amount of money they spent, the average amount of money they spent on a given period, and then we're going to multiply it times how many times a year they had to make that payment. So in this case, we're told they paid 34 employees an average of $13 per hour. So I could use that to figure out how much they charge per hour for all 34 employees. And then they said they, in one week, they averaged 38 hours. So they have 34 employees times $13 an hour times 38 hours in a week. Each employee got an average of 38 hours per week. When you multiply 34 employees times $13 per hour times 38 hours per week, in one week they had to pay $16,796 for those hourly employees. If they average the same amount, for every week in the entire year, they would average that for 52 weeks in a year. So we can take $16,796, multiply times 52 weeks in a year to get a total budget of eight, uh, well, actually total amount paid in the previous year of $873,392. And then what we would say is we need to budget for at least that in the upcoming year. It gets more complicated because raises and things like that. So you would say everyone's going to get a 6% raise and you would increase that by 6%. But for our purposes, we would say that we would minimally budget $873,392 for the year. After completing this lesson, you should be able to define fixed cost and variable cost. You should be able to identify a cost as a fixed cost or a variable cost. And as a recap to that, if you can tell me exactly to the penny how much money you will pay for something on January 1st of a year um, for every month of the year, it's a fixed cost. If you know that you have to pay the bill, but you don't know exactly how much it will be, it's a variable cost. You should also be able to estimate yearly fixed costs, which is easier, um, and then also project yearly variable costs by basically estimating how much you might pay for the following year. If you have any questions or would like to review anything covered in this lesson, please visit me during online office hours.